everyone. How are you today? Happy Sunday. And I'm Trisha Clements, Chief Fur Wrangler with MuttButts.com. And I wanted to see how many of you all have dogs that are really, really messy eaters. So Reedy and Margie, um, they have gotten messier um, uh, recently. Um, we used to, hi Steve, thanks for joining. We used to, um, I used to feed them primarily dry food and they weren't very messy when I would feed the dry food. But then I switched to raw. And when they were eating the kibble, just the dry kibble, that was worked fine. Um, and they didn't have a problem with being messy. But when I switched to the raw diet, I had an issue, especially with Reedy. Let me show you my Reedy boy. What you think, Reedy? Are you a messy eater, Reedy? Yeah, look, I've, I, now their, their food bowl is normally not in here, but I wanted to just keep it in here and show you. Do you see Margie over there licking his bowl clean? Margie, she's making sure he knows that she's going to get the last lick in out of that bowl. Um, so I found something because Reedy would stand in there wondering what their, their bowls are for. Margie, you be nice. That's Reedy's bowl, Margie. Um, so I brought it in here to show you all. So um, typically what I they Reedy would do was he would sit there and eat. And then after he would eat and he would uh, have his raw food, he would have the whole wall covered in food. I mean, covered in it. So I found a way to fix that. So Reedy has now this is just a placemat that i got it's a plastic one from dollar tree hi there kath thanks for joining in australia thank you so reedy here here's the little guilty one he has started being a messy eater um ever since i switched to a raw diet and he would get stuff um all over the wall so I went to Dollar Tree and bought this little placemat. It's just a plastic little placemat from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna show you what I do. And because it's a plastic placemat, you can throw it in the dishwasher. Here, I'm gonna put this here. Hopefully you can see, yeah, great, you can see perfect. So take it and then just like that, let me see if you can see. And there it is when he eats. And then I can just take it out because it's just a little plastic thing and you can get all kinds of different colors and everything. And then you can take and throw it in the dishwasher. It just completely dishwasher. And if you mess it up, it's only a dollar. <laughs> So I thought that was a really cool little thing um, that I came up with because I tried several things and nothing really worked until I got that for a dollar. So that is Reedy's new thing with his food ball. They're looking at it saying, Mom, why is there new food in there? Not quite dinner time yet. In a few minutes, not yet. So here's my Margie girl. She's not as messy as Reedy. She likes to inhale her food. So I do have a trick for that as well. Do you all have um, dogs that really eat too fast? Reedy is a normal to slow eater. And if I don't watch out, Reed, Margie will finish hers and go and try to move Reedy aside and eat his. So I have to make sure she doesn't do that. But also, look at her. She's like, stop talking about me. <laughs> also, what I do for her, I've tried all kinds of things. You hear things like um, put a tennis ball in there. Um, I know they have the slow feeder bowls. Uh, I haven't tried one of those. I just never, I think that was kind of, I found the solution before I got one of those. So I didn't. Um, I've also put like a Kong in there to make it um, so that they would eat slower with that. And it just it was kind of messy, honestly. Um, it was just a little bit messy. I've done, um, well, yeah, the Kong, the tennis ball. And I just found all that to be really messy. Like the tennis ball, it would get just, she would slime all over it and it really wouldn't help all that much so what I do is I make her food this originally when I started doing this she was on the dry kibble and so that was um, she would really really gobble that up 
Yeah, you would, wouldn't you, Margie? She would just gobble it up really fast. So what I would do was put water in the kibble, which is good for because she needs plenty of hydration. So I would fill it up. So um, let's see. I put the kibble in, and then I pour water in to where it was just enough to be floating. Eats way too fast. Yeah. So um, try this and see. So Margie does as well. Yeah, she's showing off now. She's like, I know. I know I do. Um, so she eats, she really inhales it. She really does. Bless you, Margie. She just um, just inhales the food. So I will put her kibble in, and then I will put um, some food, some water in with it, and just to enough to where it's almost floating, but not quite. And um, thanks for joining. Hi there. And so that really, really slowed it down more than anything else that I tried. And it's easy. Um, now, she has switched to raw food. Um, and she does eat that a little bit slower than kibble. Uh, the other thing is <laughs> that um, if I think she's eating it, it a little bit too fast, I might put a little bit more, um, a little bit water of water in it so that it's a little bit soupier for her and it takes her a bit longer to eat. Because Margie, oh, a slow food um, bowl feed. Okay, yeah, I had not tried that. I actually came up with this, um, adding the water to it before I uh, found out. I think that was right around the time that the um, slow feeder bowls were coming, um, becoming popular and coming out. So I never did get one for them. Um, but I found that the water works well. And Margie um, isn't as much of uh, a water drinker, so it's good to keep her hydrated as well. So I found that was an easy way to get around her fast eating. Hmm, Margie. And she actually, I would have to watch her because if she... If I didn't watch her, she would eat her food and I have them separated. Like I'd have his on one side and then Margie's right across the room on the other side, um, other wall. And if I didn't watch out, Mar Reedy would still be there eating. And Margie would inhale her food, be done, and go pu push Reedy aside and eat his food. So um, I have gotten after her and, and she's not allowed to do that, right? Margie, you're not allowed to steal your brother's food. So she um, now she she knows that I'll stay, I'll be keep a careful eye on her. So she'll finish her food and she'll sit right next to her bowl. I have I've got no I've got a picture off to put post it on my blog this week. Um, she'll sit there next to her food. Um, yeah. Help you, my dog was uh, a resource guarding. Yeah, Margie does guard her stuff as well. You see, she, that's her toy there, and she is not letting her brother anywhere near it. Um, I have to be careful with that too, so I have to make sure that um, that she doesn't get too mean to her brother. Right, Reedy? Yeah, you have to make sure Sissy doesn't beat up on you. You might be bigger, but Margie is. Something else, huh, Margie? So, um, yeah, so it's so funny now. Um, hi, thanks for joining, Joseph. And she will, uh, she'll eat her food now, and then she'll sit there and look at me like, why can't I go push my brother aside and eat his food? And I have to tell her, no, Margie, you have to sit and wait. <laughs> sit and wait for, yeah, she, exactly, she's the boss, and yeah, she's, um, being the female, she is definitely the boss. Reedy, is your sister the boss of you? Yes, she's the boss of you, huh? Um, but she's doing really well now, even when I've left the room and come back, I'll find her sitting there next to her empty bowl, waiting for him to finish, because she will go and lick the bowl just make sure after he's done, she wants to make sure she goes and licks the bowl. Even when, let's say, um, she goes out to potty and he's still here eating. And, yeah, uh-huh, I'm sure <laughs> your toy poodle's the boss of the husky. That's funny. Because Margie will go outside for a potty break and Reedy will still be eating. And then he's done. And then she'll come back inside and go and lick his bowl to say, I get the last little nibble of whatever's in there, even if it's just licking the bowl. Right, Margie? Margie, we talking about you? Margie, move that little tail. Margie? Margie? 
Yeah, move that little tail. Make sure you know we're talking about you. So, <laughs> Here's that little tail going. So I just wanted to come on for a few minutes today and tell you about a couple of things that I have found with um, feeding Reedy and Margie over the years that have helped. And there are uh, easy tricks and also not very expensive. As you can see, the placemat that I put in Reedy's, um, his little stand there was only a dollar from Dollar Tree and they have all kinds of really cool different um, colors and things that you can choose from and if it gets um too icky and it doesn't wash well i can always throw it out and just get another for a dollar from dollar tree yeah we love dollar tree right margie and reedy but i've washed it's washed a couple of times so um and it's holding out pretty well reedy reedy what you looking at reedy so i'm looking wondering why my bowl's empty mom okay See, all this food talk and you haven't fed us dinner. <laughs> okay, everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. And let me know if you all have anything that you are able to do with your dogs, with their food to help them, um, when make them so that they don't maybe eat as fast, they aren't as messy. Any tips or anything that you've come up with, I would love to hear them. All right, everyone, you all have a great, great Sunday, and I will see you again soon. And make sure you check out my blog. I'll have plenty of pictures posted later this week at muttbutts.com. And remember, it's M-U-T-T-B-U-T-S.com. Thank you. Like my purple hair. Thank you so much. As you can see, I love purple. Thanks for joining, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.